In this video, we're going to be using Hendrix Classics and Company Seafarer and the Henson TI-22 Razor. Stay tuned. Hey there, folks, and welcome back for another video. I'm your host, CDB. Thanks so much for joining me today. We have a great one today. We have a lot to talk about, but before we get into it, I want to remind you that this video is brought to you in part by our good friends at Leaf. I'll pop up the Leaf and Twig right there. If you'd like to get 5% off your order, use discount code IMCDB. Save yourself some money at Leaf. All right, into the shave today, and this is going to be an interesting one. Uh, we'll start with the razor because the soap is even more remarkable. This is the Henson TI-22 razor, which is made of titanium. It runs about $249. I like it. It's a good razor. This features the aggressive plate. The problem is Henson does not make an aggressive plate in aluminum. They sell their aluminum razor, I think now for $69, and they only have the mild and medium. I don't know why that is, but I'm sending a message to Henson today. Make the aggressive plate in aluminum. I can't tell you the amount of people that have said, I would love to try a Henson razor, but I need more efficiency than the medium plate offers, and Henson simply does not make an aggressive plate in aluminum. They only offer it in titanium, which is $249 versus there. I think the aluminum is $69. Henson, this community has been here for you. We have embraced you. We have used your products. And now we're asking you, make the aggressive plate in aluminum for folks who don't want to spend $250. And folks, if you're watching this video today and you would like to see a Henson make an aggressive uh, plate in aluminum. Comment below or reach out to Henson and tell them what you want because I'm not sure who Henson markets to. I've told uh, someone that's affiliated with Henson we need the aggressive plate. I know other people have and they just haven't done it. I don't know why. So this message to you, Henson, we've been here for you. We have supported you. We've welcomed you into our community. Now it's time for you to reciprocate, make that aggressive plate. Okay. Let's talk a little bit about, about the soap, which is very interesting. So we have here Henson Classics and Company. And by the way, Henson sent this kit to me. They did not sponsor the video, but they did send this to me to evaluate. So just put that out there for you. Anyway, Henson Classics and Company. This is unscented and everybody's like right now shrieking away in horror. Unscented! And believe me, I feel the same way. But Henson has a concept where you can buy their unscented soap and then they sell these scent oils, which you can purchase from them. And basically you can scent your own. So they sent five of these and the space that this occupies with five of these plus your unscented soap versus five tubs of soap, man, it really is a savings when it comes to efficiency of, of storage. And I got to admit, early on when I saw this idea, I was like, I don't know about that. That seems to be awfully involved. But now that I have it in my hand and I've smelled some of these scents, I'm like, this might be a great idea. Now, obviously you have to worry about putting too much scenting oil in your soap. I only use two drops and I think they have instructions on it. Make sure if you get this kit or you buy the unscented soap and you buy some oils, follow their instructions so you won't get frag burn. I use two drops and man, it smells fantastic. It's filling the room. So you don't have to use a lot of this. Uh, at all, but I think it's really an excellent idea. And honestly, I wasn't warm to it early on. I was like, I don't know about that. Now that I have it, I'm like, hmm, uh, this could have legs. So if my experience today is great, I'm going to be buying more of these oils. This would be awesome uh, when you're traveling. You could have the experience of many soaps. You just take the one tub, uh, which is, by the way, the the uh, the soap is $21 for five ounces or $4.20 an ounce on a cost chart, which is a fair price. This is a good base too. I'm gonna to show you a shot or two of the leather right there. So you see, we got an awesome lather from this base and this base has some nice ingredients in it. Let me put the ingredients for you on the screen right there. I have really enjoyed the Hendrix uh, soap. I used uh, another one of those soaps, maybe a week or two ago. I was impressed and this base, it's quite good. I'll go ahead and show it to you if you're interested in looking at it. There you have it. The consistency is not uh, super soft. It's almost like a putty. I like that. I think you'll get good value up, out of it. And uh, I'm pretty excited to try this today, honestly, because it's just such an interesting concept, you know, where you, you have like the experience of five soaps in a small package 
This could have legs, but we'll see how it goes. Again, the scent I'm getting off of this from Two Drops, really good. And so <laughs> I'm looking forward to this. All right, let's get into it today. And I'm just misting my face with the, the bottle right here. And this lather's been sitting a while, so let's mix it up just a little bit. And I'm telling you what, this base, it is quite good. It is impressive. I don't know if you could see sheen on that lather, but it's there. Trust me on that. And let's go. And let's see how the two drops of scenting oil that I put in here, how I take to it or whether it's too much. You know, it should probably start out with one drop. I can't remember what what they said on their um, instructional material, but man, this smells great. Two drops is plenty. I'm going to tell you right now on scent, I am getting plenty of scent. I am getting, I am well within the medium range of scent with just two drops. And so you're going to get a lot of mileage, all those vials and I will link their website below and you can look at the cost for all this because I'm not going to give you every single cost. I think you can buy really small vials of scent too. So go on over to HCNC, Hendrix Classics and Company and, and check it out. And I tell you, if my experience today is good, I'm going to be buying more scent oils and I'm going to take them traveling with me for sure because it's going to allow me the experience of many different scents without taking a lot of stuff. And that really sounds awesome. And man, the soap is good quality too. Um, this is one of those cases where I kept an open mind about it. But in the beginning, honestly, I wasn't really hot on this idea. But now that I'm actually using it, uh, it's, it's, I think it's changed my mind. And folks, it's so important to effort to keep an open mind. And, and that's what I try to do. And so... Oh, I forgot to put the notes of this. <laughs> Let's put the notes right here for you. This one is a Seafarer, and it's really nice. I like the scent on this a lot. All right. Let's get going with our Henson. Even with the aggressive plate, there's not a ton of blade feel, but there's more than the medium for sure. And again, Henson, do the right thing. Make the aggressive plate. Lots of people have asked for it. It's, it's a little bit annoying that they've been so resistant to this, or at least the perception is. And Henson, if you're not resisting this, you know, comment below and speak for yourself. But I see their commercials all over YouTube. And I like this razor, don't get me wrong. But this one's $250 and not everybody has $250 to spend on a razor, nor do they want to. And some people aren't crazy about titanium razors. So they would love to have that aluminum razor in aggressive. And so I'm not sure if Henson's just marketing to people not in the hobby, but Henson, I'm going to tell you, a lot of people who are searching for this razor are going to find my video and other videos. And so we would like you to uh, help us out. You already raised your price. The razor was 49. Now it's 69. That's okay. We can accept that. But we don't want... Uh, we don't like what seems to be like a shaver tax. So like if you're a very experienced shaver and you want a little more efficiency, it's like, okay, now you got to spend $249 instead of 69. No, we don't want that. That's ridiculous. And I say that liking this razor, but I've had so many people comment and express their feelings about they're not happy that they don't make the aggressive plate in aluminum. So just thought I would put that word out today. And Henson, feel free to comment below. Um, the last I heard was they didn't think there was a market for the aggressive plate and there might not be a huge market outside the traditional shaving community, but this is where Henson gets their most marketing other than what they pay to market, you know? And so we would like to see, you know, folks in this community listening to our <laughs> suggestions and feedback. All right. Okay. Let's stop talking about Henson. And let's get on with the, the shave here. This is good stuff. Did I even wet my face? I don't remember. I've lost track of it. I'm, I'm pretty happy with this um, Hendrix kit. I'm calling it a kit. But essentially, you just buy the unscented soap and then you, you scent it the way you like. And man, <laughs> two drops is perfect for me. No frag burn. I'm getting no irritation. But keep in mind, every person has different levels of sensitivity to fragrance. And so... It might not only be the volume you use, but also certain types of oil, like cinnamon, for example, if it's in a fragrance oil, that might 
cause irritation for you or frag burning. It does for me sometimes. So I'm careful with cinnamon and sometimes clove and nutmeg and so on. So, you know, it's not only how much you use, it's good quality stuff. <laughs> it's not only how much you use, but whatever actually is in it makes a difference too. So keep that in mind. But I like this and initially I didn't. So Hendrix, you have done a great job. Um, convincing me <laughs> and I'm definitely uh, and I'm telling you right now based on you know I can tell it's been sitting on my face for a little bit I'm not gonna have any problem with the fragrance here and so I will be buying fragrance oils from Henson I like the idea again I didn't at first but I've tried to keep an open mind about it and uh, I'm, I'm impressed um, I think it's an interesting idea. You saw the stallion use this a few months back and he liked it and that time I was like eh, I don't know if I want to fool with putting my own scent in my soap but for a bowl lather it makes perfect sense so I just dropped it in there before I made the lather and it's really nice. I'm digging it. I was a little confused because Razor Ray I think does labels for um, Hendrix and so I didn't know Pete Hendrix and Razor Ray were two different uh, people because uh, Razor Ray does you know some, some promotion and he does labels and whatnot and I was like I thought that Pete Hendrix was Razor Ray so I'm gonna just call him Razor Pete to make him one person <laughs> I'm joking there of course oh man nice the Henson razor here is a nice shaver it feels really, really different from anything else because of how far it uh, it torques the blades down. I don't know if you can see that or how well you can see it. It really bends the blades down on the edges very, very dramatically. So it feels different from any razor. And that's part of the reason that some folks would like a more aggressive plate because with the, with the mid-level plate, you, you just don't feel much blade feel. And a lot of people prefer that, myself included. The aggressive version here is fine for me. I like it. Um, the mid-level was, you know, I didn't mind it. It was more efficient than I thought. So I just didn't feel it doing its work, and I like to feel a razor doing its work. But I do like this aggressive plate. And I hope that Henson will consider making it in aluminum so people can afford it. You know. That's just my perspective on that, and I know I've said it three or four times, and I hope the message is clear to you, Henson. Talking to you. All right. Very, very, very nice today. If you can see the sheen on that lather, but it's definitely good stuff. Check it out. <laughs> uh, Hendrix Base is good. It's, uh, I don't know how long they've been around, to be honest. I think the gentleman is from Nashville, if I'm not mistaken, but... He's definitely got a good soap formula here. It is definitely good, easy to lather. Um, it's not too soft. I like it. I am a fan. Boy, my, this video is gonna go long. I'm already at 16 minutes and something, or something close to that, 14 minutes maybe. So I'm gonna have to speed up this last pass, but I've been busy yapping and busy being impressed with the Hendrix. Okay, that's good enough. That's good enough. Let's get this final pass underway. And by the way, I hope all you folks are doing great today. And I hope your shades are fantastic. I hope everybody's healthy, doing well. And I hope everything is just going according to plan. The shave today is going according to plan so far, so that's good. I'm definitely enjoying the shave. There's plenty of slickness on the Hendrix soap here. H, C, and C. I like the H, C, and C um, sort of abbreviation, whatever you want to call it, because uh, Hendrix Classics and Company is kind of long to write out. <laughs> so we'll call it H, C, and C. And boy, we've had a good run with it today. I have enjoyed the scent your own concept. And again, I must say again, I didn't think I would. Honestly, I was kind of... I was not warm on the idea, but now I'm like, oh, this, this, this has some legs, this idea. So good on you, Hendrix, for doing something different. 
I like that. Sort of just thinking outside the box and bringing something different and bringing a different sort of value, like the ability to experience many different soaps in a small form factor. That's good. I like it. All right, that was really, really nice. Let me rinse and then we'll come back and into the post. Stay tuned. And all right, we are back in off-cam. We did a warm water rinse, smooth the soap, and then we applied our PAA alum, and there was no stinging there, so you know how we did it. It was a super smooth shave with no nicks, cuts, creepers, weepers, irritation, bubbles, or troubles, and that's the way we like to do it here every day. Following the alum, we did a cool water rinse, and then we towels off with our Lancaster towel prior to applying the magic made by witches. This is Thayer's Witch Hazel cucumber i had an excellent shave today with hendrix classics and company hcnc this is unscented but you can buy the scenting oils and add your own scent and i used seafarer which i really liked a lot beautiful scent i used two drops it was perfect for me scent strength on that was medium high i liked it i have to say hendrix you have convinced me i will buy more of these oils because you can get such great value in terms of your uh, efficiency of storage space by not buying, you know, five tubs of soap where you can just buy one unscented and buy your uh, vials, which take up a lot less space. So I am going to do just that. Great job, Hendrix. I enjoyed it a lot. The Henson TI-22. This is titanium with the aggressive plate. I really like this razor. Honestly, the only thing I don't like about Henson is that they won't make the aggressive plate in aluminum. Henson. Make the aggressive plate in aluminum. What are you waiting for? Come on, do something for this community. Do it, do it, do it. All right, <laughs> we're gonna close it out today with uh, Barrister and a Man. This is Oceana, and the only reason I'm using this is because I haven't used it before, and I'm like, I've had this sitting around for months uh, and haven't been able to use it. I made a trade with a gentleman who got two by mistake. Oh man, oh, that smells great. I love the scent on this. This is great stuff. Man, what an enjoyable shave today. Everything really hit the spot. And I enjoyed it a lot. Thank you so much for joining me. Until next time, I've been your host, CDB, reminding you, it's your shave, do it your way. And as always, God bless.